afternoon everybody. This is Ashley and I come to you to talk about how I'm storing the diamonds for this diamond painting. It is a lot bigger than the last one I did so I needed to find another way other than the baggies. Um, this works but I find myself fighting with opening these baggies. So I looked at our local Walmart and I found these containers in the beading section and they come with these little jars and then they're all in one container, like so. So you've got the lid, you've got the jar, they all fit in there and they are bead storage cases by Everything Mary. And again, I got them at Walmart and um, I went to two different Walmarts and each Walmart only had one. So I bought what they had, but I still will not get everything in containers, I don't think. But all I am doing is I'm opening up the containers and I am putting the beads into these. I'm rubbing my finger around because I'm hoping to kind of eliminate some of the static. I don't know if anyone's tried this or not, but I actually thought about getting a dryer sheet to see if that cuts down a little bit on the static so the beads don't stick to you and the sides of the jar and all that. But I, I haven't tried it yet, so if anybody's tried that, um, let me know down in the comments. But all I'm doing is cutting it open, putting the beads in putting the lid back on and then I am cutting the number out and then just with a piece of scotch tape so that I can pull it off later and use these for another job I am taping the number down and then I'm putting them in numerical order. So this system so far, I'm really liking it. I hope that um, both our local Walmarts will get more of these back in so that I can buy more because I don't think even with using the baggies, like I said, I don't think I will have enough to put everything in a container. But, um, I just wanted to show you this new little system I'm going with. Thank y'all for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.